Okay, guys. Uh, hi, guys. Today, I will be reacting to one of my most highly requested videos ever. And that video is called The Boiled One Phenomenon. I've been reading the comments over the past few days, and almost every single one of you guys want me to react to this video. Now, apparently, this video is a scary analog horror video. And you can't watch scary videos with the lights on. The lights gotta be off. Now that's better. Now before I react to today's video, if there's any videos you want me to react to, let me know down in the comments down below. I'll be reading every single one of your guys' comments. Whatever's the most highly requested video for me to react to, I'll be reacting to it. Now it's time to react to the bald one phenomena. All following me. Whoa, 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 whoa! That was way too fast. That was like a what? one second warning. What did you Bro, do? I didn't even get to read it. Oh, look. All following media has been created with permission from personnel at, okay, great care has been taken to keep the identities of persons evolved in NAM units as they requested. Okay, okay. Warning, this video contains elements which are known to cause mild to severe hazardous conditions, including properties that may mentally and physically affect the viewer. No okay. Make sure you have the following in the vicinity. Airplugs, don't got it. A pencil, don't got it. A sheet of paper, don't got it. A standard Christian Bible open to Psalms 9110, don't got it. Okay. If something unusual begins speaking in tongues tangible to the naked ear, insert your earplugs and turn to your pencil and paper. Since I don't got a pencil and paper, it looks like I won't be doing this. Write the following on the page. I can see this paper. I can see my hand. I can't hear the screaming of thousands. I can't hear the feast. I am a moving, breathing human being on planet Earth. What? After these words are written, recite Psalms 9110 aloud. If memories and imagery of something unholy persist in your mind, pray it's all you can do. In the event you are required to carry out these procedures, contact authorities immediately afterwards. You'll be administered. Administer. Bro, I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. Many appear to lead a normal life afterwards. Okay. All right. Seems uh, seems fair enough. The boil the one phenomenon. August 13, 2003. Where was I? August 13, 2003. I was one years old, about to turn two. I don't remember much of August 13, 2003. Anyways, the tree of heaven. The tree of heaven. Okay. In the late 1990s, a now classified documentary based television program would debut from a local station in Pennsylvania. The program revolved around woodland plants and animals. It was primarily directed towards children. Okay, what's so scary about that? The star of the show and narrator would talk about the wonders of nature, the dangers of it, how to appreciate it, and most importantly, how to protect yourself from it. Okay? Unfortunately, in early 2001, the program would be taken off the air due to the host passing away. Oh my god. Then something odd happened. What happened? On August 13, 2003, the 13th episode of the series began a rerun seemingly out of nowhere. The following audio recording depicts the beginning segments of the episode. Video footage taken from episodes 3, 6, 8, and 10, and 13. Bro, this is moving Midwest. too fast. Today we're venturing into the heart of the forest what? to find a plant that's as beautiful as it is deceptive. Okay. Poison oak. Poison oak. I heard of poison we oak. We all know about it. Yeah. And here in Pennsylvania, it's not as common, but still something to look out for. All right. And here on we aim to uncover all the wonderful secrets that nature has to offer. All right. No matter how minuscule or gigantic. Okay. So let's get going, shall we? Let's go. Found primarily in deep North American woodlands, poison oak has many different names and places of origin, also referred to as the tree of heaven. The tree of heaven. Isn't that? In China and Taiwan, one of these invasive species made its way to America in 1700. 1700. It took its sound here boldly. That's a very long known, time ago. It's infamous. During one of the interlude segments, and uh, I don't even know what that says, broadcast would hijack the program. This broadcast depicted videos of a red melted face that spoke to the viewer in a warm yet deeply discerning voice. This face and its properties will be hereby referred to as, as what? As Fiend 228. 
as Fan228 spoke, clips of footage and even live camera feed monitoring hospitals and bedrooms would be occasionally overlaid on the screen, obscuring Fiend's 228's face. While most remember Fiend 228 speaking English, multiple non-English speaking viewers remember understanding every word that was spoken. The following clip is a restored according, recording of the broadcast. The duration of the clip has been shortened and the audio has been muffled, reversed, and dampened. These alterations are absolutely necessary to suppress its hazardous attributes as effectively as possible. For maximum safety, watch with blue light glasses and insert your earplugs. Where do you expect me to get these stuff from? I don't have blue light glasses. Or earplugs. Okay, what's this? was watching a nature show and that came up out of nowhere Story. oh my days this broadcast will hereby refer to as broadcast 813 what was that play for free i found this mini shelf on shifu it's packaged very well. Uh, hi guys. Today, you guys have look at all. Three, five, and what was this? Uh, all right. Seems August fourteenth, two thousand three. Where was I August 14, 2003? I was one years old, about to turn two. I don't remember much of August 14, 2003. The Great Northeast Blackout of 2003. Okay. After the anamulous frequency was it? Yo, you're moving way too fast for me to read. After the anamulous frequency was detected by television station troubleshooters, the NERC was ordered by the oh, branch to have all the power grids local to the state of Pennsylvania disabled by 4 p.m. to prevent further escalation of the anomaly and the public knowledge of broadcast 813. Huh? What? The outage ultimately spread to various parts of New York, New Jersey, Ohio, and even Canada as well. Oh my god, I do remember there being a blackout in New York in 2003. I wasn't there for it. I mean, I was alive for it, but I don't have any recollection of it. But I heard there was a blackout in New York in 2003. Creating the famous Great Northeast Blackout of 2003, almost 50 million people were without power. Some. Uh, I got, got jumped uh, from that. Television station troubleshooter. But Ohio! Everything is happening in Ohio! Everything happens in Ohio! Of course it's Ohio! But the damage had been done. Huh? Wait, what? Aftermath? Twelve days after broadcast 813 was blocked from the air, a historically massive influx of I did not pseudocoma occurred throughout the state of Pennsylvania, leaving 509 people affected and many families in shock. Oh my god. Oh my god. Pseudocoma is an extremely rare condition in which a patient experience is... Oh my god, these are some big words. Disconnection, leaving them to be conscious but unable to move or communicate verbally due to complete paralysis of all voluntary muscles in the body except for vertical eye movements and blinking. What? This 
anomalous outbreak of such a rare condition was regarded as a spectacle by the U.S. Department of Health and was put under governmental investigation immediately. Yeah, I would put it under investigation immediately too. One thing in common with all these cases is that the patients had been at home watching TV the night the broadcast 813 was aired. Yo, 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 yo! yo. Hold up, hold up, we gotta go back. I saw the I saw the guy. I saw the guy. I saw the guy. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. I'm just me. Guy, I saw the guy. I saw the guy. Am I saying things? I'm pretty sure I saw that 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 red face guy. He's right here! Oh my god! He's right here! He's right here! Though the victims of this outbreak were unable to speak, they were able to communicate through Morse code by blinking. More than 60 victims were interviewed. Many of these interviews held on a bail. Dr. Nowhere. Results that often led to more questions and many others who held results that required archival or termination. However, very late to the investigation, the branch was notified of a particular odd case revolving around one job Zampier Aini, an elderly victim of the anomaly pseudocoma outbreak. Okay. I apparently see the Specifically requested his allies to be Yo, you are moving way too fast! No, no, no. What? His allies to be used in future records instead of his real name, which will be classified. Okay. Zamp Pierney was a war vet and flew in Morse code, putting him on the mark as a potential interviewee as soon as the outbreak was put under investigation. After a very odd photo was taken in his backyard by visiting his by his visiting grandson, his family became deeply troubled and convinced his house was haunted. Oh my god, you live in a haunted house? This led them to contact the local priest in his hopes his house would be blessed. The following photo depicts V228 standing next to the small playhouse in his backyard! The photo itself has proved to be non-hazardous and safe to view, though still in nature for most comfortable viewing experience wear blue light glasses or view from a distance of three feet or more. Okay, I'm from a distance of three feet or more right now. All right, let's see this picture. Can't be that scary, right? Yo, why is it so tall? Why is it so tall? Oh my God. It's a PB Yo! It's a me playing in the NBA right now! It's like almost eight feet tall! What is that? Bro would dominate in the NBA. St. Pierney claimed something horrible and unholy was with him and would hurt him and was possibly others if he described it and it was telling him. The following is a recovered recording in which Officer T. Gomez interviews Job St. Pierney. Okay. Hello, Mr. I'm Officer Gomez. Hope you're doing well today. Yeah. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions regarding your condition and possibly um, the unholiness within your home that your family had mentioned? Okay. <laughs> And possibly um, the unholiness within your home that your family had mentioned. Okay. Translation sequence. Ask. Okay, first and uh, foremost, did you notice any onset symptoms before you lost complete mobility of your body? There was face, a huh? face. A hmm. face. When did you begin seeing this face? Yeah, when did you start seeing this face? After I saw it on TV, it never left me. Many of the people who have seen the broadcast that you saw on August the 13th described having vivid and upsetting hallucinations. Do you think this is something your brain has created? Translation sequence. Okay. No, it is in the you window. Please describe this face to me. The window? I'm sorry. I hear screaming of many voices. 
Are these screams constant? Translation sequence. At night before sleep, translation sequence. Thank you. Okay. You shedding light on this is helping more than you. Oh. Huh? Oh. Huh? Go. No, it's in the window. It's in the window. It's in the window. Oh. It's in the window. <laughs> Wonderful day, the miracle of birth, a fetal fanfare. What does that mean? What? You got it. What? What? You will hear the trumpets play their happy sounds. Trumpets? The word of life will pour down onto us all. What? Together, huh? we will be still. What? Together, a peaceful Together, bonded by love and purest connection. What? Be still. <laughs> Warning, if you see this screen, it means it's not safe to continue viewing. I'm gonna still watch it, man. I don't care. Protocol has been initiated. Perform the procedures given to you during the... Bro, I can't read right now. I'm sorry. No evil shall befall, okay? And there you have it. That's my reaction to the Boiled One phenomenon. Anyways, let's go wrap up today's video, man. If you guys enjoyed today's video, let me know by leaving a like. Comment down below. Did this video scare you? No. Uh... Hi guys. Today, I will be reacting to one of my most highly requested videos ever. And that video is...